and a very warm welcome to our channel. Hope you enjoy this little video of a little walk down through Longstock. Let's tidy up on the top corner, top right hand corner, down the old railway track, Stess Valley Way, round to Longstock, into the Peaks Bay, and back through Longstock Park. We're making our way down the Test Way from Fullerton at the moment, heading for Leckford. But the intention is to do a walk from Leckford through Le to Longstock, and then Longstock Park, and then back round through Fullerton where the car is parked. Just come across the remains or the top of a telegraph pole off the railway. It's just outside Leckford now. It's a patch of primroses. Whoops, I'm falling over. The last time I was here at this point, when they let my Leckford walk, I went through the road here. But today we're going to go further on, following the railway track bed to a couple of bridges and pick up the, the road. Bit muddy on the foot in places, but could be worse. I've seen it worse. <laughs> <laughs> and the forecast for the next few days is a lot of torrential. Yes, yes. Great. So the most of today. That's right. Got a muddy patch here. That's the worst thing we've come to, I think. I'm prepared for our weddings. Here we go. <laughs> they made to Christmas trees where moths grow up a tiny little sapling. There's a whole load of them here. There's a track they go up on top of this wall and it comes off the road and goes up at an angle and it crosses that bridge. Well, I don't know how anybody turned at the top, it must be very tight. This is the top of the bridge. Um, but as soon as the track comes up right next to the railway, the can't have to turn at the top. Except for a horse, perhaps. It's the same design as the bridge, or well, the previous bridge in Lexford Village. I can only go to the water meadows. But you may have worked put into that um, wall yeah. where it runs up the track side of the track. Another the railway fence there, pretty well intact. As it was, we should come to a bridge soon, which we've got to get over the top of. Pushing well out, just starting to burst into leaf. Nice to see. Now this is the bridge I'm looking for. But the problem is, how do we get onto it? Don't think there's any steps up to it from the track bed. <coughs> so it's been reinforced too. Well, I've just spotted a path up to the road. So if somebody have used it, I'm going to have a go. I made it there. That was some climb and nothing much to hold on to, especially the last 10, 12 feet. Mary's gone back, back down the track. We, we did pass a gateway 100 yards back. Here, yeah, come up that way, up to the road here. There's so many bridges. Yeah, I saw it. Well, the vehicle's approaching now, we've got to keep in. Mm. 
it's not all clear. Look at the other side of the bridge. And the second bridge now, coming upstream. Oh, well, there's a little bit tinged them this time of the year. And when we're here on private keep clear, private go right away, private keep clear. They all do the fishing. And here's the fishing hut, which must be the most photographed piece of landscape in the Test Valley. And also eel traps there. I'm not sure if they're still used, but they, they can see the bath that's on the, yeah. on the bridge. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, uh, so there's 12 yard traps there. There are the yard traps. Been downstream or something down there, which could be more traps or a weed collection device. Spawn on a nest down there. Find a seat. Is it dry? Yeah. Oh, nice to sit down. We're not far from the pub now. If it's open, that's the, that's the problem. A very pretty cottage there. Oh, that's the pub with the building with the black end in Gables. Um, there are some cars parked outside, which is hopeful. Maybe it's hopeful. It's called the Pete Spade. So there is a Pete Spade there on the wall. And a hay knife. And various other tools. Wait a minute. I think we're both in it, just... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Carrot and coriander soup, absolutely beautiful. And we're also in the line easy there. Uh, Pink Spade, recommended. Very nice food. Little of long stock. On the end of the bunny. Just gonna see if the church is open now. I've not been in the church before, it's only just here. Behind on that scaffold. The church of St Mary, Longstock. Let's have a look. Might be open. Very nice daffodils up there. Very old churchyard here. I think I can go back a bit. Have a look. Yes. 
ring. Find the lights now. There they are. Front row. Lights are on, but that made much difference. Not really. Some stained glass and some clear. Nice. I don't think it's a collecting plate though. It's like pewter or something. Oh, it's quite nice in here, nothing nothing outstanding. Nice pillars. So this present church was built in 1870. But originally there was a church here from the 1100s. Turn the lights off. Yes. Here I have yeah. Shut the door. And there we go. In the back of the church, you know, there's some. I look at these daffodils which we spotted on the way in. There we are. What did I find? New trees here. It's unusual. How are you? The old forge, it looks like it's been rebuilt inside. That's Robert the Builder who lives there. There's a bus yard, huh? <laughs> They've been a bus for years. Quite pretty inside. Mosaic. Very pretty daffodils everywhere. Some Catherine's, isn't it? Some Catherine's cottage, yes. They've just got a number. Yes. All numbered in. In relation to where they are. Looks like lower numbers this end. It's almost the last cottage in the village. This is a shortcut now. There's a long stock park. Hill. The old sign, what's left of it? A 
I've got those views down across the valley. Ah, uh, might be a problem though, which way you go? Which way to go? <laughs> you back there, but not now. Perhaps there's another sign here. Well, we're making our way to Longstock Park now. Um, this is the shortcut across the field. Oh, it's also uphill. <laughs> so my legs say anyway. I'm looking down towards the valley of the River Test. Which is there amongst the trees somewhere. And the old railway track. Back in the civilization. <laughs> Though that's a newish house, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too new, does it? Unlike some in the village. Do you live here? I certainly do. Oh, he's gonna see you. <laughs> You've got a friend now. No, really. Turn right down and follow the road. Yes, right. I just changed the battery in Longstock Park now. I had to get this tree. It's beautiful. I presume it's an oak. It might not be though. I know there's a, a bit of colour ahead of us, some prunus out in flower. The old rams on their summer holidays. Hello. I thought you could not say hello to me. Hello. Have you, have you had a good time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you have. Works over now for another six months. It's a nice bit of grass on this side of the fence, isn't it? Far better. Look at that, much better than what you've got. Uh, a lot of the flowers aren't out yet. A lot of the blossom. It may be just a bit early. Damaged a few times that tree. Still struggling on. There's some really beautiful trees there. Longstock Park. This is the entrance to Longstock Court Gardens. We've been there a few times. Um, I would think that would be up at Easter. A 
few more flowers just coming out. Uh, by the time we come back next time, they'll be over. Uh, looking back where we've just come down from, Water Gardens on the left and Bounce Up Park on the right. The house in an estate, an estate property there with the green colour gives it away. Little John Lewis Green. Oh, the captains, aren't they? Uh, what? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's like a catch and it's not a bit, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a beach, going to the bark. Yeah, the same tree that we saw just there, but not cat because the leaves, the way the leaves come out and hang down. That's what you call a tree. Same, same type. There's some more grapevines up there on the hill. More and more and more these days. Remains of the oil irrigation system there. And these were dug out and water meadows were flooded at the right times. And See traces of them all over the place. All filled in now though. Still see traces of the dips where the, where the dikes were. I'm trying to wash my boots off here. I right, did a hole there. All right, there we're back in the Fullerton. Not far to go in here. A nice square building. Got air vents in the side. Even it's for animals. That's for the Grange. And for some farm as well. Right, almost there now. Farm foreman used to one of these. Yeah. I don't remember which one it was now. That's full of a mill there. We're going to see that better in a moment. We'll cross the bridge. That's the bridge over the test now. That's full of a mill. Well, I live around here as a riverkeeper, lived in there, but it's not there, it's privately owned now. Just way. It keeps us off the road. This takes us down through Ill Fullerton Station. Back to more or less where the car was parked. That's where the railway went, up there, towards Andover. Up here. Join this way under the twin arches. The bricks are coming out of that arch too. Lots of rendering done there. Right, uh, now we're turning back towards the station, where the station was. That, those doors are the old station entrance. I'm sure that's platform edge, there's the slope, the ramp off the end. That's been the original because they did move the station further south when they built the junction. Because the station house is here, just through the trees. Put the head of the top. That's the old station. 
you know, the platforms for the and of the line, this side and the other. And then behind me would be the junction up to Long Parish and Whirlwell, which went through the trees that way. On the other side, one of the platforms there for the branch line. I don't know that had two platforms, I assume it did. There's only trace of one now. If I'm still on, if there's two, I'm still on the other one. There is a wall, railway wall there. That's too wide for the two platforms. Ah, yes, there's the, it's like the platform base here. And the edge, edging. Yeah. Definitely the platform. Oh yes, there's the, the tapered on the end there. The track bed's still clear of that side of the, all the platforms. They must have joined up just here because the end of the line is just on our right. That peters, peters out there, no more platforms. So now we're on the on the uh, railway track bed. Having just left the station. In this old map you can clearly see the two lines converging just before the river bridge. This is all that's left of the bridge that went over the test. The other half's on the right. Oh, oh yes. Smell of sewage. Yeah. Last look at the river test. Almost the car now, another 50 yards or so. And that's where we went this morning, going through the arches. Yeah. And now we're going to turn left, back to the car.